Okay, uh, I will explain here how to use the camera calibration files. First thing is to know how it's organized, organized the folder. The folder has mainly um, two folders and three files that are important. The other ones are for the readme and how to display image in the readme. That's, that's not even important. On this folder, Calib images are stored all the image of the chessboard, all the image that we need to calibrate. This folder, Camera Calib, is where I store the class that I use to calibrate the camera. The camera calibration is an example of how to use to calibrate the, the, the your camera. And the camera calibration.xml is the configuration file. So the first thing that you must do, a part of making all those chessboard images, is to configure the XML file. So first things first, you have to decide where you will be storing the configuration file. I put it on a directory named config camera JSON that will be stored inside my root folder. In this case, it's camera calib folder. Then it will create config and a file named camera.json that will store all the uh, parameters of the camera matrix and the distortion matrix. Next thing to configure is where all uh, where are all those images of the calibration? So it's used here on the calib image. And if we want to view the calibration or not, if you put it to pause, it will uh, don't show anything to the user. But if you want to view it, uh, just put it true and you will view all the outputs. One thing to note is that for a better calibration, we need at least 10 images. At least 10, but the more the better. Okay, when you are done configuring the XML file, you just open a window. I have a virtual environment named OpenCV, and you just put this command Python camera calibration.py dash dash XML and the name of the XML. And if everything goes well, hopefully it will go. It all goes well. We will be viewing these things. I can abort the calibration by pressing Escape. I can abort the calibration by pressing Escape at any moment. And at the end of the calibration, it will display me. And, uh, two images, one with distortion and the other without the distortion. As you see here, uh, the undistorted image have a little bit something out here, but it is normal because if you, we saw the shots for here, it's a little bit uh, tilted, and here is a line. So when you press escape, you will see the parameters of the camera matrix here and the distortion matrix. Anyway, the right thing to do is to go to the configuration file and see how I store the camera parameters. So I store this time in a JSON file. And if you want to use it, you have to modify the XML, not the XML, the camera calibration.py, an example, if you want to use it in your own application, let's enable these things below. Let's save it. And if everything goes well, and I load it again, it will display me the image in the start. I just loaded the camera calibration parameters and use this uh, camera matrix and the distortion matrix based on my camera and based it with new image and in this time I'm using this image because I don't uh, made some uh, arrangements to, to
to my with my camera and a chessboard but uh, it's up to you to do at your home basically i give you a framework a little framework or a little class to use in your daily work and to use to understand your image anyway if you want to check i put on the readme all the information of where i get uh, the documentation on how to do uh, chessboard on, on how to do uh, camera calibration it's basically the OpenCV tutorial just only that i made a class to better manipulation i hope you understand what i did and if you want to use it use it freely Thanks.